hello and welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. If you haven't, meet Hunter. He's one of my co-hosts. Well, he thinks he is the host. He's the star. He really is. My name is Lauren and uh, you know, today I went back and forth whether or not we needed another Sephora sale event haul video. And I decided that we did. I don't know if we actually do, but I do want to preface this video before I get into it by saying, if you are like me and you get a little triggered by haul videos, you feel that impulse to also buy, if you watch a haul video, don't watch this. Don't put yourself in that position. I know I personally have watched a handful of haul videos, but when I start getting that urge that I need to place another order, I stop and I walk away and I say, no more internet today, Lauren. Time to read a book. And uh, so if you are trying to save money, you're not in a place where you wanna buy something, no judgment, go look at one of my other videos. I do a bunch where I use makeup that's already in my collection. So watch the video where I just use samples. Also, if you are trying to avoid buying stuff, again, this is not the video for you, but go through your collection. I'm working on my declutters right now, and holy moly, does that help me not want to buy anything. I have too much stuff. That's, I know I do. I know I do. You know I do. It's crazy. But that's not why we're here. We're not here to talk about all the stuff I have. We're talking about all the stuff that I just bought. So we have this lovely little box from Sephora of what I picked up during the VIB sale this year. And uh, it's quite a bit of stuff. Now I will say I had a gift card that my amazing coworker gave to me for my birthday. So that helped uh, before the gift card, after the 20% discount, it was 450. After the, the gift card, it was about $300 that I ended up spending of my own money <laughs> on this stuff. And I really did try to go into this event with some intention. I wanted stuff that might not necessarily be the flashiest, but stuff that I would use that I needed, well, maybe maybe needed is not the right word, but stuff that I thought would have an important place, more or less, in my collection, or a couple things I was just really curious about. So let me show you what I picked up from Sephora. I'm sorry if I've been blabbing, I, it's 10 o'clock at night, it's been a long day, it's a Friday, no, it's a Thursday, I don't even know what day it is anymore, so I am just at the end, end of the line for Lauren, uh, mentally. So let's just go through this quickly before I fall asleep on camera. So I did pick up quite a bit of skincare items this time around because there was some stuff I wanted to try, I was really curious about, and there was some new stuff that looked very interesting. The first thing I picked up was from Josie Moran, and this is her Butter Babies. This is three of the new Butter Babies that just came out. When I saw these launch, I was like, yeah, I, I knew I was gonna get them in the sale. They come in this cute little clear pouch, and there's just three of these. Boop. Wait, or is there four? Why does it look like there's four? Oh, hang on, there's something extra. Oh, they've got like a little body scrub in here as well that you can test out. I saw that that was new online. But yeah, you've got just three of these little guys, and they're, I don't know, pretty fun, and they sounded like they smelled good. This one is Bohemian Fig. Then we got Topless Tangerine and vanilla bean and juniper sounds amazing am i just covered in cat hair i think i am it is what it is we you know we can't avoid it in this house next thing that had been in my cart for a little while that i had been dying to try out is from albi this is the restorative body oil i have the driest skin especially right now during the winter oh my god <laughs> it's spring now my skin still thinks it's winter but this was supposed to be really good for really dry skin and I really like body oils. And plus, look how pretty this bottle is. No, I promise I did not buy it just for the bottle, but it is pretty, isn't it? Ooh. So I'm hoping this will help with my super dry skin. It's a pretty small bottle for the price, but you know, typically you don't need a whole lot of oil when you're applying it or else it's just gonna be kind of a greasy mess. So <laughs> let's, let's hope that's not the case. I also got something else from Josie Moran. It's another body oil. This one you can use on your body or your hair. This is the original 100% pure organic argon oil. And I don't know if this is like a new product, but I don't remember seeing this before. And I use oil in my hair. Again, I use oil all over my body in the morning. So I was interested to try this. Another pretty bottle. Oh, I'm liking all these bottles. 
Moving on, I got some brushes this time. There's one that I've had my eye on that has been sold out online over and over, and that is from Glossier. This is the Stretch Face Brush, and it looks like this. So it's got a little button, and then you, you open it like this, and it's pretty stiff. And I've been using brushes a lot when applying foundations. I typically go in first with a brush and then go in last with a beauty blender just to kind of, you know, make sure everything is like sunk into my skin. And this one just looked cool. And I like how stiff it is. It's got like mixed reviews. Some people seem to really like it online. And then some people said that it breaks really easily. So we will find out. I picked up two concealer brushes because why get one when you can get two? Now, I really only needed one, but I did pick up one from the Sephora collection. So this is the 71 Pro Brush Concealer. Um, one great thing about the sale, if you didn't know, is that for anything from the Sephora collection, regardless of what tier you're in, it's 30% off. And again, I've just been liking brushes a lot. So this is the concealer brush from the Sephora brand. And then because my friend here on YouTube, Beauty and the Beaker, said this was the best concealer brush, I picked up the one from House Labs. And let's take a look at this. It's interesting because her concealer is not my favorite, but that foundation is really good. But this is the concealer brush. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It's really nice. Let's take the plastic off. Ooh, yeah, it's, it's nice and stiff. Perfect for a concealer brush. Um, yeah, I'm excited to use this. I also got a little Sephora puff because I feel like I always lose mine. I don't know where they go. I'm pretty sure my cats are hoarding them somewhere, but I have no proof. But they're missing and my cats seem to like them. So I got one perfume because after reading <laughs> what this one is supposedly, supposedly smells like, it just sounded like it was right up my alley. And this is the brand by Rosie Jane. The fragrance is Missy and it is... Japani Green Mandarin Coconut Pineapple. Feels like butterfly kisses and sex on the beach. Those seem like two very different feelings, but you know. Oh yeah. Okay, this kind of smells like Beach Walk from Bobbi Brown, but a little less sunscreen-y. Uh, granted, I actually love scents that smell like sunscreen. Weird, I know, but I love it. But this definitely is a little more tropical than that one. Whew. Okay, now it's in my nose. Whew, but that smells good. I'm excited to use that when the weather starts getting a little bit warmer. I didn't need another powder. <laughs> I have my powder declutter coming up. I didn't need another powder, but I got another powder. And this one is from Pat McGrath Labs. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. I've heard such great things about this. And this is the new shade Baby Pink. So Let's open it without getting sparkles everywhere. I do love Pat McGrath's packaging. I like all the little shimmers in there, um, but they do get everywhere. So let's see, fingers crossed it didn't break. These were not packaged incredibly well. Like everything was kind of thrown in with like one little sheet of paper. So it made me a little bit worried, but we look okay. This is pretty light for pink, right? It feels like very light. I mean, it could be that the lights are just really oh it's very soft though the lights might just be blurring it a little bit so you can't see the pink as much but even in person it looks pretty white to me okay well interesting it is very soft which i am excited for because i've just heard this powder is amazing a couple spf products the first one that i finally got my hands on is from super goop this is the protectant daily spf tint we've got spf 15 here i have mine in the color 20c this one kept selling out, so I'm glad that I got it before it sold out online, but this is what it looks like. I use Super Goop every single day for sunscreen before I put on the rest of my makeup, and everything always lies on top of it beautifully. So I'm going to do a little bit test with this. I just want to see what it looks like. We just reviewed the Lisa Eldridge skin tint, so it'll be interesting to see how this one compares to that. The other SPF product I got, yes, I got it because it was a mini, is from Kosas. This is the Dream Beam. Comfy Smooth Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40. And again, it's the mini one, which was so cute. Okay, expires 126, that's good. Is there a color on this? I thought there was a color, maybe there's not. Either way, this is what the mini version looks like. It's 15 milliliters and the applicator looks like this. So it's kind of halved after you take the top off, but that's another one that I'm really excited to test out. 
it's got a little bit of color to it. So I'm excited to see what that looks like. And on to the makeup, you know, I don't feel like I got too much makeup. <laughs> like I got a good variety of products this time, but obviously we got makeup. So the first thing that I got is from LYS. They came out with a new color in their bronzer stick and I really like the bronzer stick formula. So this is in the color Hope. And I believe the description of this one was like a light neutral color. So it's in their stick and let's see. Ooh, okay, it got pressed up. It's got like a chunk missing from it. Um, okay, let's see if we can push it down. No, okay, well, that's where it wants to go. I don't think that's right. I don't really wanna to touch it with my finger. Oh, no, I was able to press it down. Okay, so it slipped down a little bit there, but it is supposed to be like a light neutral. Let's hope it's not too warm. I'm excited to try this out. I am always interested when I see bronzers in neutral because I like neutral bronzers a lot better than warm bronzers. I just tend to be a little bit cooler tone leaning, at least skin wise. So neutral works a little bit better for me, um, but I'm excited to try this out even if it's a little melted. I think that's what happened. I think it got a little melted. I also got one of their blushes that they just came out with. So this is the blush higher standard cream glow blush stick in focus, which is supposed to be a warm cinnamon pink. I'm not gonna lie. I had the hardest time online. I don't know what it was, but I could not figure out what any of the colors looked like. Could not figure it out. I was like, they all kind of look the same, but different. And then the description for this one was cinnamon. And I was like, that, that doesn't sound like it's gonna work for me. But let's see, this is what it looks like. This one's not melted. So let's, ooh, pretty, okay. This is more of a glowy blush. And I'm really excited for that because I actually like blushes that can also be used as highlighters because that cuts down on my routine in the morning. I just have to use one product. So I am excited to use this. It doesn't look too warm. It's definitely a warm leaning blush, but it doesn't look overly pigmented. So I feel like I can pull this off, but we will see. I also picked up the new bronzer stick from Sephora. This, they kind of snuck it online. I think they thought no one would notice, but we noticed, okay? So this is the contour stick and this is in the color Fair to Light. So let's take a look. It is sealed really well. I can't get it off. The struggle is real today. This is what it looks like. Let's do a little bit of a swatch. That is the color. So again, I would probably use this even though they're calling it a contour stick. I'd probably use it as a bronzer, honestly, just because I like a little more of a cooler toned color. So that is what we're dealing with. With that, it's pretty light. It definitely blends out easily. So I'm gonna have to be careful that I don't blend it away as I, I sometimes do with some of my bronzers. But that's gonna be really fun. And that one was, you know, again, cause it was part of this four collection was 30% off, which is great. Uh, I also picked up, <laughs> I didn't need it, but I have been enjoying the two that I have so much that I picked up another one. This is from Dior. This is the Forever Glow Maximizer. I picked up the color Rosy because a lot of people have been saying that even though this is a highlighter product, this color in particular looks like a blush highlighter combo, which again is my favorite right now. So yeah. Beautiful. I really like the two highlighters that I have from this line already. So I haven't picked up another one. Plus it was on sale. I also picked up something from Bobbi Brown. This is the Longwear Cream Liner Stick and I picked up mine in the color Fog and I just thought it looked like a cool color. It's like a gray brown, but this is what the outer packaging looks like. And then this is what the stick looks like. Let's look at the color. Ooh. It is definitely a taupey brown. Oh, I'm excited for this. Okay, let's, let's do a little bit of a, ooh, fun. Okay, that's really pigmented too. So that's gonna be awesome to play with. I'm excited for that. Looks like it's gonna be something that you can use for like a really good smoky eye too, because it blends out. It's creamy, but it doesn't blend out too much. So it's not like blending into oblivion. <sighs> okay, last product, I swear. This one, I had my eye on for a long time and I'm glad I didn't buy it at full price because the full price uh, for this product is $50, which I think is a little bit ridiculous. This is from Westman Atelier. This is their Consciously Crafted Beauty 
but this is their lip suede matte lipstick fifty dollars but <laughs> i really wanted to know what it was like and i have mine in jerev 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 this is the outer packaging i always talk about how beautiful westman atelier's packaging is and this one is no different the lid is magnetic and this is the color that i picked up so you see the little hearts in it and just like the click so satisfying so that was my haul I, I don't feel like I got that much but it was pricey right I, I mean I did I got 18 17 17 18 items so I did get quite a bit and it was a good variety of stuff I have some skincare stuff I've got some SPF I've got some brushes and of course we have makeup of course but I feel like I was a little bit, a little bit of everything this time, which I kind of like. It's kind of exciting to do a little bit of everything. So that is what I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you ended up picking up. Did we pick up any of the same things? Let me know down below and I will see you all later in my next video. Bye.